Hello guys and welcome to a new tips video from the best weapon series. And we're going to start with the best SMGs. As you know, SMGs received a huge hipfire buff this season, making them the best weapons for hipfire. And on top of that, they welcomed a new member to the family, and it's not just any member. They got the Beast Fennec, which became one of the most used weapons in close range. So after watching this video, you will know which SMGs kill faster, and which ones are best for hipfire. Before we start, you need to know that the ranking will be based on the fastest killing time, and all the tests will be against enemies with level 3 vests and 150 HP at 10 meters range, since it's the best range for SMGs. Also, all the shots will be directed to the chest area to make sure that the tests are as realistic as possible, since that's the most targeted area with SMGs, especially when using hipfire. We'll do the tests differently this season, so I'll test the number of shots needed to kill an enemy first, then check the fire rate of the weapon. And using these two stats, we can find the exact killing time with 100% accuracy, leaving no chance for errors or luck. Finally, keep in mind that all the guns used are without any attachments, to make sure that the results are fair and accurate. So I'll tell you which SMGs kill faster, and then it's up to you to make a build for them depending on your playstyle. I'm sure you guys already know which gun is the winner, but take 5 seconds to guess. Let's see if you can guess it right. In number 11, we have the Pharaoh. Since this gun only shoots in burst mode, it was hard for me to get 100% accuracy, but that doesn't matter really, because this weapon sucks. With 12 shots to kill an enemy and a fire rate of 666 RPM, the Pharaoh can kill an enemy within this time, and that's considered the slowest among SMGs. I'm not gonna waste time explaining anything about this weapon because it's not worth using. If you love Pharaoh, then you need to wait until they buff it again, because right now, it's just trash. In number 10, we have the PDW-57 with 13 bullets to kill an enemy and a fire rate of 761 RPM, which means that it kills within this time. The damage of this gun was nerfed in the start of Season 9. I personally don't see myself using it, but that doesn't mean it's useless. During the test, I noticed that it has the second best hipfire accuracy, and on top of that, you have a high mag capacity of 50 bullets, which means you don't need to equip a mag into it, and instead, you can invest in other attachments that can make it stronger. The downside, of course, is the slow killing time. So I suggest this gun for new players and players with low accuracy, as it has high accuracy to help you and you can afford to miss your shots since it has a high mag. In number 9, we have the Cordite with 13 bullets to kill an enemy and a fire rate of 816 RPM, meaning that it can kill an enemy within this time. If you watched my last Best Weapons video, you'll notice that it was number 4 on the list, and the reason for that is because it had the best hipfire and probably the only weapon with a good hipfire back then. And it's still the best hipfire weapon this season, but things are different now as there are a lot more good hipfire weapons. So honestly, I don't see it as a high tier weapon anymore, and if you're gonna use it, then it'll be for the same reasons I mentioned for the PDW-57. The high hip fire capacity and the large mag capacity of 40 bullets. But what makes this gun special is the fact that it has the highest range across all SMGs with 53 range. In number 8, we have the GKS with a total of 10 bullets only to kill an enemy 
and a fire rate of 614 RPM. This weapon kills within this time. Notice that the killing time is very close to the Cordite's killing time, and considering that the Cordite has better hipfire accuracy, and the fact that the GKS has both higher vertical and horizontal recoil, I would choose the Cordite over it. But if you have good recoil control, then you can go for the GKS. In number 7, we have the Razorback. Again, it only takes 10 bullets to kill an enemy with this gun, and it has a fire rate of 640 RPM. The Razorback can kill an enemy within this time. As for the hip fire and recoil, it's very similar to the GKS. Overall, it's an average gun, and I don't recommend using it as a main weapon. In number 6, we have the RUS-79U with 12 bullets to kill an enemy and a fire rate of 792 RPM. This gun can kill an enemy within this time. It has a high hip fire accuracy, and if I had to rank it, then it's in third place after the Cordite and the PDW-57. However, it has a bit of vertical and horizontal recoil. It's a good gun overall, but it's still not the best. In number 5, we have the HG-40 with 10 bullets to kill an enemy and a fire rate of 683 RPM. This gun can kill within this time. The HG-40 is one of my top 3 favorite weapons that I use for close range. It doesn't have the best hip fire, but it's still considered good, and what makes it special for me is the fact that it's easy to control with ads too and can be used for longer range if needed. I highly recommend trying this gun. In number 4, we have the Chicom, with only 9 bullets to kill an enemy and a fire rate of 609 RPM, which is considered the slowest fire rate among SMGs. But this gun can kill an enemy within this time. Thanks to the high damage of 18 per bullet, honestly, I'm surprised no one uses this gun. I've seen many competitive clans use it back in Season 8, but they suddenly stopped in Season 9. Personally, I don't use it because I find it a bit hard to control burst weapons. But if you're good with controlling the burst, then I highly recommend using this gun. We've reached the top three fastest killing guns starting with the QQ-9 that can kill an enemy with 12 bullets and has a fire rate of 849 RPM, which means it can kill an enemy within this time. I'm sure many of you are using this gun. I use it a lot too myself, and it's my second favorite SMG right now. Again, it has a hip fire accuracy with 30 bullets mag, which makes it a great starting weapon as you can find it easily lying on the ground across the map. In number 2, we have the forgotten MSMC, with 13 bullets to kill an enemy and a fire rate of 961 RPM. This gun can kill within this time. The last time I've seen someone use it is back in Season 8 before the Gunsmith update. 
I noticed that this gun has one of the worst hipfire accuracies across SMGs, and on top of that, it has a very short range and can only be used when hugging the enemy. Even though it's number two on the list, I still see no point of using it mainly because we have a new replacement for it. The winner of today's video is the newest addition to the game, the Fennec. I'm sure many of you guessed it. This gun's like the upgraded version of the MSMC. It can also kill with 13 bullets, but what makes it special is the insane fire rate of 1,127 RPM. Honestly, when I saw this, I couldn't believe it, and I had to check four times to make sure it was correct. But it's true, and that makes it the new fire rate king across all weapons. The Fennec can kill within this time. I started using it as my main weapon for close range next to shotguns recently, but you need to be careful when using this gun. First of all, it has a very high recoil, and I don't suggest using it with ADS. Just use it with hip fire at a very close range of less than 10 meters. And since it has low mag and a fast fire rate, you need to make your bullets count, because if you miss your shots, then you're in trouble. I'm gonna be honest with you. Not everyone can use this gun, especially if you're new to the game, but if you can use it, then you will melt your enemies before they can even react. And if you find it hard to use, then I suggest using the QQ9 as it's easier to control. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, then share it with your friends. And consider leaving a like to help me promote the video. Also, if you're new to my channel, then subscribe, as I'll be posting more videos like this soon for the best assault rifles and best snipers, and more tip videos in general. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.